Hi, I'm Erica. My case makes it easy to electronically request trust or retainer funds from clients in less than a minute. Your requests are PCI compliant and tracked within my case, helping you improve your cash flow. This video will show you how. Select any Request Funds buttons or icons throughout the software to electronically request your client's initial or additional trust funds. Then choose the contact from whom you are making the request. Once we do that, you will see additional fields. You should note that if a client portal has not been established for this contact, you will be prompted to create one before moving forward. Next, we fill out the desired amount and the due date. If you prefer, you can leave the due date field blank or apply a specific date. Then we will specify the deposit account where this payment will be deposited. You can also specify if you'd like to allocate funds to a specific case. This allows you to separate each case's trust balance and prevent improperly applying trust funds. If you do not see cases, this means the client is not linked to the case. If you'd like to learn more about how to link contacts, go to the support center and search for how to link contacts to cases. If the client is linked to the case, you will want to select a client name to keep trust funds on the client level for unallocated options. Next, we will customize the message sent by email to your client if you'd like it to differ from the pre-populated one. Once we click the send button, an email notification will be sent to the client. If your account is enabled with My Case Payments, your client will automatically be taken to a payment page configured to receive your client's online payment into your trust account. All they need to do is add their information and select the Make Payment button. If you are not enabled with payments, the payment request is still sent to your client, but you will need to manually reflect the funds received offline. To view your requests, navigate to the Requested Fund window from the Billing tab. Then, view the payment status under the Status row or narrow down your selections by navigating to a specific fund status. You can also view the status of any client by clicking on their name and viewing their status on their contact page. If you're waiting for payment, send them a reminder by selecting the three dots next to status and clicking send reminder. Now let's look at what your client will see if they access their client portal. They will see a red notification bubble in the billing time, reminding them that they have a new item to review. They see all the details for the funds requests. Then, all they need to do is click Pay Now and input either their credit card or check information to process their payments. They will receive an immediate email confirmation of the payment. You as the attorney will always receive real-time notifications when payments are made on your requests. If you are not already a MyCase Payments user and are interested in learning more about MyCase Payments, contact us to get started.